I will start with this uh, webinar in which uh, we are going to show the um, uh, different kind of uh, product we have to calculate steel connection. Please let me know if uh, there are problem with the um, uh, with the microphone. So uh, we have uh, two product with um, within Greatech. Um, we have Beam Designer Cell Connection and Advanced Design Connection. The webinar schedule will be an um, overview of the two software with uh, um, a little bit of uh, introduction and then uh, a live demonstration. After that, uh, I will give you some information about uh, other webinars and uh, um, and how to contact us if you have any other question and then I there will be question and answer uh, time. So <clears throat> Still Connection Beam Designer is uh, uh, our product and um, you can have it with uh, the premium um, the premium version of Advanced Design um, is a check of um, all the type of, of connection, so base plate, moment connection, uh, clip angle, and uh, APX connection and gussets. Uh, and is uh, following the green book um, connection and uh, um, it's really easy and to control and check. Um, is implemented, as I said, in advanced design and uh, uh, with the premium version you can uh, uh, go to you can use uh, still uh, connection beam designer exporting forces and section as we'll see uh, in a few minutes. Advanced design connection is instead uh, software developed by Idea Statica and uh, uh, is connected now with uh, advanced design as we'll see uh, later and it deals with um, um, all the kind of connection and this uh, uh, software to check and to um, uh, and to analyze all the different type of connection and you can actually um, model it as we we'll see be, uh, after. So um, this is, these are the main features of uh, advanced design connection. So from uh, stress strain analysis. Uh, to buckling, stiffness, uh, member capacity, etc. Okay, so now we go uh, to advanced design and uh, I will show you all the, um, uh, the two different software. So this is a typical structure um, in uh, advanced design and uh, uh, the first um, software we are going to see is Pin Designer Still Connection. What I'm going to um, create now is, um, uh, I don't know how familiar are you with advanced design, but I create a new subsystem for the connections um, and, uh, and then I will create my connection. Uh, you have uh, the um, possibility to create them from the connection tool in object. So I'm going to select uh, my column and rafter and uh, isolate them. And then I'm going to create a, a moment connection. Um, so I select my subsystem and I create my connection. The connection we create here is just a um, symbol and uh, uh, when we run the calculation advanced design we recognize this connection and then when we go to bin designer still connection it will export forces and section. Uh, now we have all our connection in this area and um, all right, bear with me one second. I need okay and um, 
what we're going to uh, create is a group of connection. This is a really nice tool for Bing Designer Still Connection. So we select the type of connection, Bing Column Fixed Connection. We, uh, we give it a name, Bing Column Fixed, and we add this group. What's happening now? When we create this group, we can select all the different kind of connection we want to create in the same with the same uh, uh, features, with the same walls, with the same thickness, etc. And um, uh, we will just uh, calculate uh, one of the connection, and we'll we'll design one of the connection. And um, uh, what is what um, it will do? Advanced design, uh, being designer still connection is to uh, evaluate the the envelope and the different case of uh, cases you you have analyzed in advanced design and then uh, uh, calculate the connection with uh, uh, all these kind of forces. Uh, to create a group we go to the properties of each kind of element and uh, in connection group we add them to the group we have just created. So now when we, we run the analysis we will see that we have only one connection to uh, to calculate. So I run my analysis now within advanced design. And um, this is um, a really nice tool as I said because if you have for example uh, a lot of different kind of connection you can just create groups for them and uh, and once you you change uh, your analysis in advanced design then uh, you just need to check one of the connection um, and uh, one of the group of connection and you will uh, um, and you are and you have already designed the the whole lot of connection so uh, as you can see here i don't have five different type of connection but i have only one and uh, double clicking on the connection group it will open um, BIM Designer Still Connection. One second. It's obviously now uh, exporting all the section. Uh, we have obviously the same section in all the five connection because uh, uh, we need to have the same kind of elements connected um, and uh, and uh, we have uh, uh, also the same typology of releases so they need to be all fixed element so as I said this is uh, beam designer still connection um, here on the left you have uh, already some drawings that you can export in the itself as well and here is uh, there's your connection in 3d um, as i said if you if you go to loads the combination here is reported the worst case of all of them uh, so we will uh, see later that uh, we have this uh, moment so 39 kilonewton around and um, and we'll see that uh, in uh, uh, in advanced design. Um, what it, how it works uh, this software? So uh, I just show you really quickly uh, when it calculates it, uh, calculate it, this uh, this connection is really quick, and uh, yes, like a sample one that obviously have some issues. So uh, here in the calculation results is telling you that you have. Uh, a problem with the column web panel in shear and uh, uh, bending moment and uh, the um, also the position of the bolts so these are too close so now to change it we are going to geometry and here I will show you uh, everything you have in advance uh, in the bin designer still connection so this is uh, the column 
and uh, and beam uh, you you have connected uh, you cannot change this because obviously uh, if you change this uh, it will change also in advanced design if you add any stiffener uh, um, sorry any onches you will recognize it with beam designer steel connection and uh, it will uh, obviously uh, you cannot change them as well because if you change them it, they will change the forces in, uh, in uh, the software. Um, so what we can uh, do is uh, for example in this case go to column stiffener and we can uh, uh, for example uh, enable uh, middle column stiffener uh, here in this case we don't have any so we just go to enable and uh, we can uh, we can uh, realize this kind of uh, stiffener this will help us with the uh, problem we have in shear forces in uh, in uh, the column um, then uh, you can add also different kind of stif stiffener web ones uh, the beams uh, the normal one let's say that uh, you can add also in advanced design here you can change the thickness of the plates etc so you can amend it you can amend the length this is the default one but obviously you can change it and you can amend um, and customize it um, as you wish as I said here in uh, the bolt definition we are gonna set only three bolts so we don't we we won't have any problem of positioning and we will see if this is uh, uh, enough to also to bear the moment um, here in all in all same plates you can also set the tolerance and uh, um, and uh, as you can see you can have uh, you can work both on the column size or on the uh, on the plate size um, you can change the material of, uh, of obviously if you change it from columns and beams you need to rerun the model uh, but you can change also this the material for plates or onches uh, stiffeners etc the same is for the welds in this case uh, here there's a weld size I can uh, amend it and see and see what's happening and you have obviously different all the different kind of uh, wells we have set um, obviously when you change it is uh, automatically recognized and you will see it uh, on uh, on the screen so it's, uh, it's quite nice also the position of the bolt and the distance you can uh, directly see them uh, live when you change it in this uh, in uh, in this panel so now <clears throat> uh, as well you can uh, you can set the chamfers so now I, uh, I say OK and I will calculate my connection again so now as you can see we have no error no calculation error or warnings so the distance is OK and uh, this uh, stiffness um, has helped us to uh, to take the shear forces in the column um, so <clears throat> once you have uh, created your, con your connection you, you just select close and, and update as you can see here is telling you that the connection is being checked and uh, and now we come back to our model as I said um, to, to show uh, how it works uh, I, I've set a different kind of forces in this uh, middle portal and as you can see is getting uh, the forces of the maximum moment of all of them um, and in this case was 39.4 uh, kilonewton so it's, uh, in this case we have checked the worst case for all our connection this uh, is a um, uh, beam designer still connection as I said you have all this kind of connection 
from base plates uh, to splices uh, to uh, these are all the type of moment connection, all the type of pin connection and all the type of gussets. And um, uh, with the, the new version now are uh, in the 2018 version are all available and uh, <clears throat> we are adding um, new features every release and um, uh, we have already had two this year so it's really going forward to uh, to be updated and developed uh, let's say daily then other um, the other kind of um, um, of uh, software we have is um, BIM uh, is uh, advanced design connection. Um, in this case, you need to run uh, the analysis first. In this case, is already uh, set. Bear with me one second. So I just opened the the one I, I had, and uh, it's working in a different way. Uh, advanced design connection. So uh, it's a software that um, uh, can work with. Uh, uh, no, also not in two plane but in uh, in, a th in a 3d environment um, so what we are going to uh, to look is uh, the our section that uh, in this case are the same for these two and these are um, SHS 40 per 4 and this column is a uh, UKC 203 uh, 3 per 46 so uh, to go to advanced design uh, uh, connection you select uh, the node and uh, the element that you want to export for create uh, in order to create your connection and uh, in the beam area uh, when you when you can export uh, uh, in um, the model from advanced design in uh, all the different kind of um, uh, 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 so to all the different kind of uh, software there is also uh, the a button for advances and connection if you click on that uh, you will go to create your connection uh, there's a design code that uh, there is uh, uh, euro codes and uh, American uh, code and then um, <clears throat> At the moment, um, what is uh, is uh, recognizing is um, the um, what is uh, where we need uh, obviously I said uh, okay sorry one second. Okay, uh, here we go. Ah, seems uh, it doesn't want to collaborate today. Uh, wait. Only need to rerun the model. Sorry about that. Well, as it's a model I've been working on, it's probably something I already recorded on it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it's a lucky one. Okay, yeah, I just needed to rerun the model, so sorry about that. And um, <clears throat> uh, as I said, um, in this <clears throat> in this moment, what is recognized are only the European section, so all the IP, um, IP, yeah, and uh, all the European one. Uh, so um, uh, we are developing it. 
and um, along with uh, Idea Statica. So, what is uh, uh, we are going to choose our <coughs> column, and uh, uh, as you can see, these are the rafter and the beam. There we go. So, <clears throat> um, yes, as I said, for the moment you recognize all the European profile, and um, well, I think it will uh, it will be something that uh, will be uh, sorted in uh, um, in the next releases. Also, this software as well has been has already had uh, two releases in the 2018 uh, version. So. Uh, they are developing as well really fast. You just uh, you just need to go next, next, next. So it's uh, is actually all set up because it's taking all the forces from um, advanced design. And uh, as you can see here, there are all the uh, different kind of uh, combination. So then you exported the the um, the section and the forces. Here we go to uh, beam uh, to advanced design connection. As you can see, <coughs> here there are all the forces on the structure. So what we are uh, going to uh, to do is um, to uh, I will show you uh, we run quickly through the index. So here in geometry you have all the different uh, section we have set. Uh, and as you can see uh, here is uh, you have uh, the chance you will recognize every kind of rotation you give them um, and um, and you obviously you don't have to change it in this case because we have already uh, we have already set everything in a advanced design uh, you could also do it but obviously the this will change the the forces in the <coughs> in the software. Um, here we have um, all the forces brought from uh, uh, advanced design. Um, in this case what I'm going to do is just keeping one of these uh, uh, combination, for example this one that is uh, uh, probably the, the one uh, we need to look at. So as you can see we have all of our forces uh, that then we can also double check with advanced design. Um, once we have checked that everything is okay, well, uh, we go to the design phase. In the design phase, phase we start uh, with um, adding a new kind of connection. The first one uh, I am doing is a cut uh, to, to bring the column at the level of the uh, of the rafter, so uh, I'm gonna choose um, this. Uh, uh, these are my elements name, and uh, so for the uh, column, I will look at this beam on the uh, on the farther side, and uh, and I will offset it, for example, 30 millimeters. So <clears throat> this is the first step I do just to create uh, you can also create uh, the element as you can see in a different in different shapes and then I add uh, a couple of connections so the first connection I create is for the rafter uh, so for element uh, M1363 and uh, it will create by default uh, like in uh, Bean Designer still connection a, a, a connection. Then you can obviously customize it as we are going to do. So for example I change the thickness. Uh, you can change it to bolt or welded as well. In this case I uh, design it as um, symmetrical to the profile. I will just uh, add a couple of um, uh, maybe 10 millimeter. Yeah. And um, 
and to the left, for example, 30. And then I will move uh, um, my bolts a little bit closer and, um, and a little bit uh, external. If I want to add um, um, new bolts, I can easily uh, set them here. So, for example, if I set uh, minus uh, 80, I can set four of them or I can customize it in this editor. So this editor is the editor for the plate. I can create offset, rounding, chamfer, etc. holes in it as well. And um, here in the bolt part, if I explode, I can uh, create my own uh, uh, disposition of the bolt. So, um, for example, I, I can just um, delete this one and three and four, I want to bring them in the in the middle of my of my plate so I set uh, 0 0 and uh, and now they are in the middle of it so this one for example is a easy connection to create this one is a, a more tricky one um, I add as well the same kind of a connection first so then I have, I have a plate to create a, uh, to connect to the gusset. Uh, in this case my element is uh, the beam and is connected with the column. Um, <clears throat> thickness as well I can set uh, 12 is fine and uh, bolt as well. In this case I will uh, I will set a rectangular one so I need to set for example all the all the different kind of uh, uh, dimensions. So I can set 80, should be fine. Um, and 80. So as you can see, I cre I've created my plate and I can, uh, I can just set um, this to be a little bit uh, external, maybe the other way around. And I want to set another one here. So as you can see here you have um, your distances, so minus 50, 50. And if I set minus uh, 180, should be fine. And, uh, and, and now I've set another um, layer of uh, bolts. So here now I've set all my bolts. And I can set also as well the dimension for welds and uh, for the welds. In the flange, in the webs, you can set it one way uh, or both. Uh, you, you can also have uh, butt welds as well or, or also no welds if you, if you um, want to, uh, to have, um, if you want to have, uh, for example, welds only in the webs or, or etc. So um, if you don't set anything, by default, uh, as in here, you will set a dimension. It is uh, usually four, but obviously depends uh, then from uh, connection to connection. Um, you can change also the material for, uh, for the welds as well, or you can use the default one is, uh, is uh, uh, the one you, you have, we have used in advanced design for the elements. And then uh, the, um, uh, we add a gusset, some gusset, there you go. So in this case, the element connected is um, uh, my bracing and uh, is connected with a new plate. And this new plate is connected with uh, uh, my member, my beam. And, uh, and is connected also with this plate. This plate is AP2, so I need to change it. And as you can see, uh, you will uh, recognize that uh, my new plate, to which uh, there is the bracing, is connected with uh, this plate at the end and uh, this element, as you can see, if I set the welds in both parts. And um, yeah, so. Uh, now we are going to uh, to change the dimension of uh, of this. So, for example, 200 
I can set one bit. No, this one is the other one. Um, let's say 300. And just to uh, want just to show you a little bit um, how it works as the software. So I set a little thickness for the moment and um, white gap. Um, the only <clears throat> the only geometry you you want to change is um, is uh, the length. This one is not affected anything because it is is just the length of of the element. So if I set six hundred, um, I just create this kind of uh, of uh, connection to show you a little bit the result uh, of um, of uh, the software. So now I've created it. Uh, I have my loads. I have my all my connection, and I go to the check. So as I said, there are different kind of check. You you can have um, a look in the project items. What check are you going to do? So in this case, you're you're doing stress strain and buckling. You can also look at the stiffness analysis, member capacity design, and uh, uh, design resistance. Uh, we we can go through the stiffness analysis later, maybe uh, depends from the time. Um, and uh, for the moment, I just check my structure. Uh, it takes. Um, a little bit of time so actually uh, when it takes a long time means that something is wrong uh, in this case is is really quick and uh, and um, is showing you that everything is fine uh, it works also with um, uh, plastic analysis so as you can see the plate uh, is taken into account that it can reach the five percent of the plastic um, deformation that um, that he, he, he can uh, it can do it with. So, um, um, well, going through the analysis, um, if you need to reach the 100% of uh, uh, of the forces applied. Uh, here, there are all the plates, and you can see for all the plates the forces on that. The best um, way to look to have a look at is uh, to show the equivalent stress and uh, usually mesh it is uh, a nice way to have a look at it and um, and you can see where it's reaching uh, the 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 top uh, the stress uh, the maximum stress that the steel can bear and then is uh, is uh, going to the plastic side of it in which we can have a look in this way in this way clicking on plastic strain so as you can see, is um, a really uh, a really detailed and um, uh, and really performant uh, tool. And uh, a really nice part is uh, the form shape. So you can actually see how it behaves. So in this case, for example, uh, what what we can see is that uh, is working this part of the uh, of the column and maybe adding just uh, uh, some uh, stiffener here we we will help uh, the connection anyway also if we if is already if is already um, fine and this is this is really nice uh, mainly to understand for example if you have uh, if you look at your bolt forces how it behaves and why they are these are really high or um, and how to deal with uh, with your connection. So um, it's a really sophisticated tool. Um, why I have created this is because uh, then obviously you can go to the I'll just show you quickly uh, the bolt menu uh, where you can check your bolts. It's really detailed and um, and you can go uh, through that uh, uh, in a in a really deep way. This is also in. Um, um, this is also when you connect uh, the steel with concrete is using uh, ETA, uh, while in this case um, uh, is using the the Eurocodes. 
Um, and the same is for the wells as well. And uh, for each plate, this is really nice because sometimes uh, is uh, is just uh, maybe the position of the bolts uh, that you need to change or or anything else. And with this, you can um, you can have a really detailed uh, um, a really detailed uh, uh, conne uh, connection, and uh, and you can understand where exactly is uh, is the problem. And then uh, uh, what I wanted to show you is the buckling analysis. So in this case we can go to the buckling shape and as you can see even if the connection is fine maybe our buckling factor is quite quite uh, uh, low so uh, and as you can see is working uh, uh, this connection can be done in a better way so maybe the, the plate needs to be a little bit thicker and uh, um, and uh, the the bracing needs to be a little bit uh, farther, um, closer to the to the beam. Uh, and you have all the different shapes, and maybe what we want to do is uh, uh, is reaching a different kind, um, higher factor of it. So to change it is really easy, uh, as uh, in both software. So they are quite handy to do that. So um, I just go to my gusset. Uh, a little higher thickness, a uh, little gap, and uh, and maybe just uh, 125 millimeter. And uh, now it's already changed. I can add the stiffness as well on the top, so um, I can change the position. Uh, the thickness can be they can be also um, really um, thinner. And uh, as you can see, I've already created that. And uh, and I can calculate the structure. So in this case, obviously it will be fine as well, but the result will be a little bit different on the on these plates and uh, and uh, on the deformed shape, and also uh, this plane will collaborate with the structure as well. So obviously this uh, is fine as well. The summary is telling you that the plates are uh, are um, working a little bit in a better way and uh, and if we go to the buckling shape now the factor is no more uh, is no more in this um, thin element um, and as I said if we go to the equivalent stress and the deformed shape we'll see that uh, now uh, is working in a different way Obviously, now it's just uh, an example. You, you obviously can can work uh, uh, as we did, for example, in the other connection, adding different kind of stiffness, etc. It's just to showing you a little bit how, how it works. Uh, we'll I'll try to go quickly to the um, stiffness calculation. Stiffness calculation. Sorry. So you can also when you uh, you can also add a copy of it, and in this case, if you amend something in the in for example in uh, the 21 structure, this uh, will be different from this one. It's like uh, having another project on it. So you can also you you can create a copy and then work on it and uh, and then uh, coming back uh, to the old one, let's say. So now I select stiffness. Uh, here in my geometry, I select, uh, for example, that uh, this is uh, the analyzed member, and then I go to my check and I calculate my stiffness. So what is actually telling you if uh, is uh, if uh, your connection is rigid, semi-rigid, pinned. So maybe if you want uh, to to have a rigid connection, you need to add maybe more stiffeners, different kind of bolts, etc. Uh, or if you want a pinned one, you have to act in a different way. And also, it's giving you the stiffness that you can use, for example, in advanced design to set an elastic release to show exactly which. Uh, which is the amount of forces on it so uh, maybe if you have a, a different connection that you want to deal with it 
much deeper way to be uh, to look at uh, is a is a nice tool to to have. Um, now, <clears throat> hopefully, it won't take long, and um, it's showing you the axial uh, stiffness and the rotational stiffness of uh, of the element of the connection. Sorry. Uh, there are also, well, then in, uh, in our YouTube channel of Advanced Design, there are also um, some videos about this. I will go through uh, the report um, maybe deeper uh, for both of them because uh, uh, in uh, Bean Designer Still Connection and in Advanced Design Connection, reports are really detailed um, as, uh, as we have seen as well uh, when we have... Uh, when I've shown you the, um, how far you can go and how deep you can see the result. So, as you can see in this case, uh, in the Y direction, in, in this direction, is uh, uh, you can consider it uh, semi-rigid, so not completely rigid, while in, in the Z direction, this connection is uh, rigid enough. Um, it's also because of the forces are really, you have really uh, low forces on it. So. Uh, it's a nice tool and you can have also axial stiffness if you have a look at the bracing, etc. Et um, okay, so these more or less are, are the two software. Um, they are, as I said, quite, quite detailed um, on, um, on uh, all the features and all the, um, all the reports. Uh, as well, also in a uh, Beam Designer Still Connection, you have a really detailed report, and if you have uh, if you have any check to do, uh, you can easily go um, as we've seen and see uh, where is the issue is is uh, following the Eurocode as well, so it's going through everything in a really deep way as well. Um, I just give you a couple of information, so uh, you have a tutorial. On both of them, in our YouTube channel, there's a tutorial about Beam Designer Steel Connection and Advanced Design Connection. You can refer also to the website of Idea Static. Um, we have um, a coming webinar for Greatech product um, that are reported here below. Uh, this is the first and the third of November is about Advanced Steel. Uh, and uh, and you have uh, tips and tricks in the f on the first of November and um, uh, detailed um, uh, project faster and improving productivity with advanced steel. So um, um, we have really two experts about this. Um, and um, if you want uh, really to deal with uh, advanced steel and to have a look at that, uh, is a, they are really nice webinars to follow. On the second of November, I will show you. Uh, advanced design, uh, an overview of the product, and um, uh, and then we are. Um, I will show you also. In uh, I will go then uh, with other webinar in detail on advanced design. So as I said on the second one, there's a, a, an overview of this, and on the 16th of of November there will be um, uh, a reinforced concrete design. Uh, using the advanced design, so it, it will be a really nice uh, uh, webinar as well to look at. Uh, if you want any trial of both software, you can uh, send me an email. The email is reported here, you can see. Uh, and if you want any information about packages and prices, you can refer to Tom White. Um, as I said, Beam Designer Still Connection is uh, included in uh, the network in the, sorry, in the premium version of Advanced Design, uh, while Advanced Design Connection is a product of uh, Idea Statica that we have rebranded, and uh, uh, um, so you you refer to us, uh, but it's a different product. Uh, these are the other services of um, uh, uh, we we offer here in um, uh, in Great Tech UK.